I'm Ryan, and this is Dustin. We got married in the summer of 2014, and in the winter, we bought a house. We're pretty handy, and Dustin has a real good eye for design. These are our chronicles of renovations, fixes, and decorating as we go through our new lives as homeowners. So, we're going to put in new windows in our uh, bedroom. A lot of the windows in our house actually are single pane, so they're not very efficient. They only have that one pane of glass. They don't have the gas in between the two panes to make it super efficient. Since our house was built in 1970, all the windows are original. But you can't just go buy a window because you have to measure. So there's a really interesting, there's a specific way you have to measure this. So honey, you want to measure? Yes. So you're going to go right to the inside. There's a little piece of molding right here. Or you can go inside there, but this piece of molding here is the piece of molding that technically holds the window in. So you kind of go right into that, and that should be basically the inside of the window. So we measure across. It is what? 36, 36. inches. All right, so the window is 36 inches wide. We're going to measure from the base of the sill here all the way up into and underneath. And so that's going to be right about, was it 54? 53 and a half, but 54 after molding. Yeah, that's where it's going to be. So 54 inches. So the window is going to be 36 by 54 inches. But now we have to go to our home improvement store and see if they have windows that are 36 by 54. And we're going to need two of them. We have two windows in this room. So the other two windows that we're actually focusing on today are the top two, the one on the left hand side is green and the one in the right with the wreath on it. Well they had the window in our size and it also has all the decorative pieces of molding inside the window to mimic what our windows look like now. It makes it all a whole lot easier to clean them that it's one big piece of glass because those little pieces are all in between the two pieces of glass. So. First things first, we have to take down the draperies and the blinds. So we're going to need some tools for this. Yay, demo. Now, things are about to get hairy because now we need tools. So here we are in the basement and we need some tools to do this job. You're going to need a couple of things and you should probably have most of these set apart for when you're taking the window out. But you also want to make sure that you don't want to have a window out of your home and uh, no way to put it back in yet. Some caulking, uh, not necessary, but highly useful is, uh, you know, a little air-powered nailer. You're going to need a screw gun, a uh, knife, and uh, you're going to need a little crowbar. All right, and the tools have arrived, so the bleeps will begin. Before you start taking out the window, don't forget to take down your drapes and your blinds. And you have to take those brackets off, otherwise they're going to be in the way too. All right, so now we have this piece of molding here. It looks like it's one piece. This is actually a different piece. This is kind of what's holding this more, well, less. I'd say more or less, but less in place. So we have to go around here and just score it with the knife so that when we go to take it all off, it doesn't rip the paint or wood away from each other. If you don't do this carefully, eh, you're going to do what I'm doing right now. It's molding. Which is cut into the other molding, yeah. Or, uh, you know. That's actually the worst part about that. Except if you were to slip and cut yourself, so don't do that. There it is. So to pop the inside molding, you just put that right on the edge where you cut. And hammer a little bit into it. You're gonna need to go bold. And see it starts pulling away there. Oop. Not that it's a problem. I was starting to pull on this sash here. Not that it's not a problem. Because it's coming out anyway. Or the track, I don't know what it's called. It's a sash. One of them is a sash. I think this is a eh, minor detail. I don't know. Think of the night before Christmas. I threw open the shutter. I threw open the shutters and threw up the sash. Who uses those words anymore? I opened the damn window. <laughs> Beep. <laughs> that was oh, watch the top. It's gonna crack. Where are you? 
Come on. But I also have these little puppies. And um, those are for screens for these windows, which they don't natively have screens because we're in the south and you don't use screens a whole lot because you don't open the windows a whole lot. But those are going to have to come out because the new window is going to have to sit right on this spot right here. So this is going to have to come out because this piece of wood right here is where that other, the uh, new window is going to rest up against. So this is going to be in the way. So we have to take out these two screws. Now we take the window out. Exactly. <laughs> it's so fancy. Ta-da! <laughs> um, and this part is not fancy. Da, da, da. And the springs. Yeah. Part one. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. Oh. It's not so dirty. Yeah. Not so gross. Now let's unpack the new window and we'll dry fit it into the window opening. You need to have these pieces of wood in here before you go to put this window in. If you do not have these pieces of wood before you go to put this window in, Adios don't put window. the window in. <laughs> that nice little bit of money you spent on replacement windows is going to end up in a heap on the front porch. Now we're going to dry fit the window into the window opening. Don't put the top end in first, put the bottom in first, unlike what I'm doing here. So now you're looking at the top of this, right in there, there's a gap. And there is no way for me to adequately fill this gap. So now what I have to do is I have to pull this window back out and take this piece of wood out. So if I remember correctly, this may just... By the way, this is a horribly dangerous position to be in. There is nothing going to prevent me from falling through the first floor. While he's doing this, you'll start seeing I mean. all the cracking, which is basically just the paint peeling off. And then I'll slide out like that. And that's perfect. All right, so now we have to go back to the basement and we're going to cut some insulation to fit in here to go on the top of that. Use the top expansion cap as a template to measure out your fiberglass insulation. But be careful working with fiberglass. It can irritate skin and eyes. You always want to clean the grills off of the, the window seal. Yeah, it'll give us a better seal when we put on the uh, caulking. The other thing I, have to, I want to check now is this piece goes this piece goes on the bottom of the window out here. So I'm going to check and see if I actually need it. This is a big gap under here, so we can probably fit um, that piece up in here. You are hanging out the window, by the way. Snap the gap spacer into the bottom of the window. This is, uh, this is the moment. Ooh. Okay, so this is where it's going to get funky because we're going to have to put the caulking on here and then we're going to have to finagle the top piece and the insulation in. At the top. At the top. So I'm going to need your hands and soon. Now caulk both sides and the top of the window really well, making sure there's no gaps. And from those crazy holes outside from the screws, put a little in there, good measure. Now I'm going to need your help, so... Stop filming. Yes. This is where you're going to need extra hands. Dustin is holding the fiberglass under the expansion cap while I run a bead of caulk on top for good measure. Window is in. Now we have to, I'm just making sure that, uh, kind of even here on both sides. So the spacing that he was talking about, I know I was just kind of flying through it, but it's actually located on both edges of the window, as you'll see, it's about a fingertip here, and then go over, same here. He's going to bring a level in more just to make sure that we are going to be able to slide open and close easier, or at all, which is always a good functioning window. 
Use a level often, checking every side and making sure it's square. So there's a gap here on the side and we're pretty much square over on this side of the window. So I'm going to make sure now that when I screw um, that screw all the way in that I keep the window square. I'm opening the window a little bit so that I can actually get the drill and screw gun right in there to get that screw and screw it in. Screw the rest of the screws in snug, not tight, constantly checking for the window to be square. The same thing on this side, move that little white piece up. Once the window is secure, carefully run a bead of caulking along every outer edge of the new window, making sure all the gaps are filled. I like to go back over with my fingers to make a clean concave bead along each seam. All right, now we have to just uh, caulk on the seams in here, and then we'll put on the molding and we'll be done. All right, now we're gonna put our molding back up. I uh, start with the bottom pieces first. Side. Bottom side, that's what I meant. Thank you for that. Make sure it's all nice and snug up against there. And uh, I'm at it. Is it dead? No. There we go. This one just needs a little love encouragement. Finally, we replace all the molding we took off from the very beginning and run a bead of caulk along the windowsill to completely seal up the new windows.